Hello everyone. Welcome to Benched. Um this is a this is a game that uh that I found at the recommendation of a good friend of mine, the Saxy Gamer. Um if you don't know his channel, uh it will be in, in the links down below to his uh first video of uh Banished. Um I don't know when you're going to be seeing this, but uh uh, it's only the first video that he has up right now. He hasn't he hasn't uploaded a second one yet. If you don't know Banished, um, I will be uh, basically tutorializing uh, the, the whole way through. Oh, it's not load game. Let's go to a new game. Oh, that's that's lovely right there. Dick's Town. Let's go something else, shall we? I got a name. Tortuga. I don't even know why. Okay, um... I'm just gonna spam click. Okay, that, that's the C we're gonna go with. Okay, as you can see, I, I probably should have said this earlier, but uh, I'm playing with a mod. With a mod. Uh, Colonial Charter, excellent adventure. Um... Gothitelle. Gothitelle! That's the that's the new name. And we're gonna spam click again. There we go. That's our new scene. Um, it adds a lot of different things. For one, it adds uh, flat plains, lake waters, swamp valleys, bleak mountain, verdant plains, and sand lakes. I personally like lake waters. Uh, terrain size large. I might go... Eh, let's go very large. Screw it. Uh, climate fair. Uh, disasters on. And starting position is medium. I don't like medium plus, to be honest. To be honest. I do like medium, though. Alright, let's go. Let's get this train wrecker rolling, shall we? Your country has rested all of their colonial ambitions on your venture. Your job is to, in is to ensure the survival of your country's citizens. So, yeah. um, This game is basically a game of survival it's if you've ever played SimCity um, it's kind of like that uh, according to the sax gamer at least to my buddy Dave <laughs> but yeah um, okay here we are uh, yeah you start out with a group of people a bunch of people and this game is also known as a window management simulator. And here we have the map. Uh, the map of the surrounding area that I'm taking a look at here. Sorry, I'm not really talking about that that much. Uh, I'm also sorry if I'm a little quiet. I'm currently recording this at like 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Alright, so let's pause. Let's pause for a minute here while I set up my windows. Uh, this is the right here, what I'm throwing around there, is the, uh, it's basically like the town information window, um, uh, we have early spring, that's the current season, uh, amount of logs, amount of fuel, uh, stored food, medicine, um, glass here, stone, iron, Tools, clothes, and alcohol. Average happiness, average health, weather and temperature, uh, adults to students to children. Students is in the middle here. You can't see my cursor, and I don't know how to activate that on, on my uh, recording software right now, but uh, in future episodes I'll probably have. And uh, this is the current season, and next to that is the uh, number of years. I just exited out of that, didn't I? <laughs> oh boy. It's gonna be great. And then here we have the event log, which I'm going to put right next to the, uh, the town information. The map, which is going to go over in the right hand corner. You can always, you can play this however you want to, just how I like to play it. And our professions. 
is right there. I'll go over these as they become important, but for right now they're not very important. Okay, we're going to make builders. Builders um, build buildings, roads, and bridges. Laborers pretty much do everything else. They just they just do random shit. Yep. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is start building roads. Get a good road here. Okay, okay road. Great. Get some builders on that. And play at double speed. And I'm gonna adjust my camera a little bit here. Yeah. There we go. Okay, um, here we have houses. Um, Colonial Charter adds a lot of different houses. Uh, and they require different materials. Uh, with tiny shacks all the way up to, um, large red residences. Uh, here we have roads, stone, brick, um, aesthetic plaza pieces. Okay. Wooden bridges, stone bridges, and tunnels. Uh, here we have all of our storage buildings, and, uh, our trading posts, and resource depots. Uh, here's all of our town services. So we have back alley. What? What? Back alley? Okay. We have abbeys, uh, cemeteries, chapels, parishes. Uh, here's all of our food production. I'm also going to get them to start building some houses while I'm explaining some things. Congratulations to Cheveston. He has become an adult and is now working as a laborer. Alright. Okay. Now that I got some houses down, I can do more explaining. Um, this is all of our food production. We'll go through this as well. Um, later, as it, as it comes up in the Let's Play. Uh, here's all of our resource production. Not not like these resources, well, sort of some of these resources up here, but mostly these four, right here. Oh, these five. Not, not so much happiness, though. Uh, alcohol production. There are six different kinds of, or five different kinds of alcohol you can make, I guess. Yeah, five different kinds of alcohol. Um, walls and buildings for your shoreline. Good for making attractive harbors. Uh, decorative items, uh, charter statues, charter statues, and lastly we have uh, removal and destruction. Items. Okay, so now that we're building houses, um, I do believe we can move these resources down here. get ourselves a road spanning out this way, as well as a road spanning out this way. And with that road, actually, Fisher's hut to go 
it will. It goes right there. That's fantastic. Absolutely phenomenal. Alright. Now let's get a couple more builders. Okay. Get that out of here. So it's not irritating me. It's also, we should probably also get a road going up to that bridge there. So I'm going to put one down. Reserve of firewood is low. Dang. Alright. That means we must extend this down. Sure, game, why not? I understand our resources are getting low. Thank you for telling me. This game is a lot about um, window as well as resource management. Um, in um, in the Sexy Gamers video, he's going to call this a window management simulator, and I have to agree with him. I, I really, I really have to agree with him. Oops, he's screaming the controls. Remember, children, don't play games at, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. It's not actually 4 o'clock in the morning. You freak out. Uh, but it is, uh, fairly... Fairly, uh, late at night. Early in the morning? I don't know. Uh, do, do, do. What else can we do? We could, I guess. Well, it's a little late beginning farms. We can try it. Uh, let's do strawberries. And let's get farmers on that. Down here are farmers. Um, obviously they, they tend to crop fields as well as orchards. Good job, boys. Good job, ladies and gents. Okay, now I only need to, as a builder, to get over here and build this stupid thing. really wish they would like finish um finish the woodcutter before people start freezing to death. Uh okay. Other things I can go over. Uh we have orchards. Um standard orchards are uh two trees by three trees. Uh and uh dense orchards are two by two. I don't I guess that's like two trees by two trees. I don't know. Uh, there are also pastures, which are standard pasture and uh, fenceless pastures. Fishing docks. I just set one up over there. Um, basically, this this circle uh, here that's drawn, that's where they will be catching fish. Like, the area in which they will catch... Or, like, the area in which they are affected. Watermill uh, turns flower... Turns... Fl makes flour from grain. And it has to be built on a shore. Uh, and flour can be used for lots of things. Uh, windmill uh, also makes flour from grain. Uh, hunting cabin. Uh, this hunts wild game like these deer that are over here. Um, butcher stalls. Uh, butchers uh, livestock from pastures. Gatherers huts, uh, they collect roots and berries. Your best bet is to put them like in the middle of a forest. So I'd want to put mine like down here. Uh, oil press, 
uh, extracts oil from olives and and as well as sunflowers, flax, and cotton. And whale water. Uh, apiaries um, produce honey. Bakeries uh, make breads and cakes. Sugar houses uh, produce sugar cane. Uh, Preservus makes jams. Uh, wharf and ship. Uh, a wharf with its ship is an advanced building used to fish whales, seal, and lobster on the high seas. Whale blubber is required to make lamp oil, add an oil press, and an important item for some advanced buildings. And dairies, uh, which make uh, like butter and uh, milk and such. Oh good, they're, they're finally building the woodcutter. Jeez. We need that woodcutter. Um, uh, I need to harvest more logs. Plenty of stuff. Uh, iron. Anyway, um, worker. Fuel limit. Three hundred. Yeah, I know you don't have the hard materials. I'm handling it, man. Get off my case, James. You guys not building this. This is silly. People are silly. Alright, uh strawberries grow fast it seems. Interesting, interesting. Anyway. Okay. Um I think this tree issue is going to be But I am going to put a gatherer's hut in here, and a hunting cabin right next door. Yeah, these people are like old AF. I think uh, up here is going to be our forest. Okay. Uh, what did you guys get rid of these uh, resources so we can build over there? I like going at double speed. It's not, it's not too fast, but it's not too slow. Um, I guess I'll, I'll end this episode when it gets to uh, gets to autumn. And then next episode, I'll I'll probably end up speeding speeding it along. Reserve of food is low, guys. Get this hunting cabin going. What are you doing, Jeebus? What the heck? My gosh! Come on, workers or builders, whatever your names are. I put that away. Get five builders. Yo, oh, getting something to eat, okay. You're excused. She's like hammered two nails in there. And she just disappeared. I was like, what the heck? 83%. Excellent, excellent job. That strawberry patch is coming along nicely. I'm okay. Fishing work is coming along nicely as well. Fishing dock, excuse me. Pardon me. I'm just, I'm just looking around the map here, seeing what's what. Hold 
the two for now. And then once, uh... <sighs> once, once this, uh, this strawberry patch is, is harvested, uh, we'll, we'll probably end up... End up, uh, taking everyone off of that. Off of the, off of the crop field. And put them on the, uh... The, what's it called? Uh, the fishing pond. Alright guys, uh, I think fall's going to be coming up here soon. So, in the next episode, uh, we will progress into our first winter and see how well we survived that. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry if you just heard that burp. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, um, please, please leave a like or something. Please leave a like. Uh, if you've checked out my other content on my channel and you enjoy it and you wish to see more of this content, uh, please remember to, su to subscribe. It it helps it helps me know that you guys that you guys enjoy enjoy my my content. Um, I apologize for not talking much this episode. I was I was uh, trying to pay attention a little bit. I also, I also apologize for the uh, sleep-deprived nature of this episode. It was, it was a little weird for me. So, in the next episode, uh, we shall, we shall greet uh, Matilda as she becomes a laborer and give her a new job instead of being a laborer. I also realized I went this whole time without having my professions uh, window open. Yep. Uh, so, in the next episode, uh, we will continue into our first winter. I bid you guys a fond farewell.